Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 14. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Japanese 80s festival. We have two races, each of them five laps, and I'm going to be taking this Mugen Motul uh, Honda Civic, this car here. Um, so there isn't actually any upgrades available for this car, but it does have 215 brake horsepower. So I think that'll be plenty for going around the Autumn Ring and the Deep Forest Raceway. So let's go. Right, so we are now here at the Autumn Ring. We've got track length of 1.83 miles and our entire distance we will be driving is 9.17. So let's do this. Oh, look at that car. And we've obviously got a racing version which has a lot more horsepower than the rest of the cars as well. We've also got racing hard tyres on as well, which is the first car we've driven with racing tyres. We could obviously put them on other cars, but racing tyres are expensive in this game. go across a checkpoint perfect slowing down for here into second nice awesome coming to the spiral here Very nicely done. I've actually upgraded as well to a different controller today. So I've actually got one with um, vibration and stuff like that. Because the other ones I had were just um, six axis controllers. Um, but this one is a uh, dual shock. So. Here we go. Lap one completed onto lap number two now. Perfect. Ooh, could have slowed down there. There we go, nice. Back to the spiral again. Get around that corner perfectly. Nice. Right, coming on to a lap number three now. Three minutes spent in this race so far. This is going to be a long one. Right, slowing down for the hairpin corner now. Hmm, for some reason it uh, didn't want to shift. That is interesting. Triggers are a little bit more tricky to press on these ones. I feel like they're not as accurate as the other controller that I had. Um, so sort of shifting, I have to properly press them now, not just do the quick tap that I used to do. Which shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just a little bit of an adjustment. Nice. 
nice. A little bit too quick through there, I think. Nice. We are miles ahead at the moment. We could actually lap some cars on the final lap. It is a possibility. Mm, maybe not. Awesome. That was a really good corner through there. Perfect. Coming on to the final lap now. Oh, the tyres are getting very hot at the front. We might have to slow the car down a little bit. Uh, or not take the corners as aggressively as we were. Yeah, they are getting very hot through there. Perfect. Nice. go on to the final stretch oh need to shift up and across the line seven minutes and 26 seconds yes 726.5 that's a very good time there right we are now here at the deep forest raceway we're going to be driving a total of 11.1 miles and one thing i want to do um a thing that i've found is driving with traction control actually slows you down a lot in this game so i want to turn it down to about two so i've still got a little bit but it should make us even quicker now i think you have to do that on every single time you load the game as well oh i wasn't expecting to go that quick Look at that. Literally the only car having to brake for that corner. Awesome. I think this is a track as well that's got the um, monkey in the tree. It's like sort of a hidden Easter egg. I can't remember whereabouts it is though.
We might have already passed it. Here we go, onto the main straight now. Going on to a lap number two. Lap numero dos. Perfect. Let's get around that corner nicely. There we go. And onto the brakes. There we go, nice. This car is really quick. Awesome. around that corner very nicely down to lap number three. I love this car so much. I don't know why, but classic cars are sort of growing on me, and I really like classics at the moment. Like, supercars are nice, but they're sort of a bit old. Like, they're not old, but they're just not in as interesting anymore. But you get cars like this, and especially cars like the Skyline, the Nissan Skyline R34. That is a very nice car. I absolutely love that car. Awesome. Right, on to lap number four now. Let's go. The speed that this car can carry through the corners is ridiculous. Nice. Perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Probably don't even need to shift down to third there. I think sticking in fourth would be quicker. 
So... Ah, oh, well, we're on the final lap, so we can't... Ah. Uh, let's just keep getting faster. We've done a faster lap on each lap so far. I don't think we're going to get a quicker lap for this one. Perfect. And the tyres have just started to overheat. 26, 27, 28. We were slower. By about 0.4 of a second. So if we didn't hit that wall, we probably would have done a quicker time. Um, let's see. 20,000 credits as well. Time to move on to the next championship. Right, so next up we're going to be doing the British Lightweights Championship. So we've got ourselves a Lotus Elise here. And we're going to be pumping it with a lot more horsepower. Um, I don't know if there's actually a power limit. I know there's a weight limit. But whether there's a power limit, I'm not sure. Uh, we can fit you on. Fit you on. There we go. Um, and I think maybe a turbo kit should be good. Uh, it doesn't provide much horsepower. I think the intake, though, will be good. We need to get the cheap intake. And we definitely need sports tyres. Uh, does the car have any of these equipped? It has comfort soft, so we need sport soft. There we go. Installed. Nice. Cool. Um, what tracks are we actually on, though? I literally have not checked this. Uh, professional series. Where is it? There you are. British Lightweights. Oh, so we're starting on London, and then we're going for a race on the Top Gear test track. That is very cool. Right, so we are here at London. Let's go for the first race. I didn't even check how far we're going to be driving, but it's only three laps. Let's do this, though. Little Lotus Elise. Oh, the other cars are pulling away. Oh, I did forget the traction control. I will remember to turn the traction control down next time. It's a habit you've got to get used to. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you slowing down like that? Here we go, come on. Squeeze around the outside there. Come on, come on. Perfect. A little bit toxic around that corner. Right, onto the brakes. did kind of hit the back of his car there. <laughs> Just try not to do that again. Right, squeeze in around here. Awesome.
Right, slow in. Perfect. There we go. Right, coming on to the final lap now. Nice. Right, let's see how quick we could go through here. Ah! Uh, messed it up. It was going so well. Right, coming up to the square corners. Perfect. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. And across the line. Finish. Nicely done. And we are at 392,000 now, which is awesome. On to the next race, which is the Top Gear Test Track. Right, we are now back at the Top Gear Test Track. Let's do this. Race time. And let's go. Oh, why are we starting in second gear? That is weird, okay. Haven't even started lap number one yet. There we go. Nice, come on. There is a Ford RS200 up in front. I have a feeling we're not going to beat that. Again, that's an RS200, a massive rally car. Rally. Designed to go fast off-road. It's fast. I, I'm not going to beat that. He's going to come and get me on the straights, I can guarantee you that. Maybe not. This one doesn't want to slow down. Just about recovered from that one. Alright, stick it behind this car. I'm slipstreaming you. Come on. Perfect. Awesome. go perfect through the hammerhead very nicely oh forgot to shift up follow through here we go past the tire wall
Right, on to the final lap now. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Pass the tire wall. Perfect. And slowing down here. Perfect. Took the hammerhead very nicely there. There we go. Past the tire wall. And across the finish line. Awesome. Four minutes, 26.065. That was a very good finish. And we are up into the 400,000 credit region now. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.